G'day mate, welcome to Captain Ministry with me, GD. Today, we're continuing my little mini-series, my little mini-series on upgradable responsible designs, because one of the things that really frustrated me with Captain Ministry was not so much that I had to rebuild things as I got new technology, that, that's part of the game, I understand that completely. What really frustrated me was the fact that I had to rebuild smelters because I didn't leave myself one tile here or one tile there to get the upgrades done, so um, I decided to go right back to square one and redesign all my smelters so I could upgrade them in place and hence that brings you to today's video on glass smelting and this little mini series this little mini series which has already done iron plus steel plus copper smelting which I'll link up the top right hand corner I'll also link the playlist down in the first pinned comment below in case you've missed those videos but just glass smelting now glass is a little bit different one you unlock it much later in the tech tree so you already have like the recycling center and a few other things up and running number two is well you need to make glass mix to then make glass so that makes it a little bit different very different very very different honestly very very different but we have our starting design and that that's really where we start now a couple of things i am going to remind you guys right at the start of the video is one can i borrow like i'd just like to borrow it for now by all means later on the video i'll remind you if you weren't happy with the video you can have your like back second thing i want to remind you is there are chapters down the bottom so if you need to come back and re-watch this to see how i upgraded from you know a blast furnace mark one to a blast furnace mark two to hell even an arc furnace you can check that chapter to see exactly how that happened uh, last thing I want to remind you is if you want to see some high resolution screenshots with the grid overlay on they're posted in my discord server in the capture industry channel check the pinned comments oh the pinned message is there you'll find all those high resolution screenshots for not just this one but a lot of the other tutorial videos I've done so with that out of the way uh, let's talk about glass all things glass now glass we'll, we'll start with the tech tree seems like a great place to start uh we get glass making right here in the tech tree it is, as I said, after recycling, recycling's all the way back here. So we already have to deal with uh, recycled glass being broken glass. We also uh, are going to, as part of, well, today's video, uh, also need to add in exhaust filtering, also the Blast Furnace Mark II. Finally, uh, the glass making maker part two, and then finally the Arc Furnace II. So we're gonna start with glass making, our very, very first simple one. And although that might help you right there, um, let's start from scratch. Let's build this together from scratch. So first thing we're going to need is obviously smelter. Now, smelter-wise, well, design-wise, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build inside this square. And the reason I do that is I know a lot of people like to count squares and they want to know exactly how this goes together. At the same time, I'm not one who likes to count squares. So I'm going to reference everything off the very first smelter. But we need to start somewhere. So I'm going to put in the very first smelter. Very important thing we're going to need is we're going to need the slag on the outside. It'll be important later. So we're going to put slag on the outside. We do that with pressing the F button. I need a second blast furnace, which we're going to grab the blast furnace and press F again to make sure it's flipped to have the slag on the outside. That's the easy part. Uh, yep, yeah, that's the easy part. All right. Uh, from there, we're going to leave the glass making uh, maker off the front and we're going to come to the rear. We're going to need a couple of belts. We're going to come out one, two, three, four, five, six six tiles from the back of the smelter and i'm going to put in my first belt that's going to be for our glass mix and our broken glass second belt uh we need to put on top which is going to be for coal now if your belts are trying to attach to one another it's because you left the magnet on if you press the r button it turns off the magnet then they don't try and attach to one another that's going to be our second belt that's going to be for our coal third belt uh we're not going to put it height two we're going to go all the way up to height three so it'll match our other smelter designs and that's going to be our slag lastly we need to plug it in our belt so we're going to have our first belt uh for glass mix plus broken glass uh and then our second belt for coal and then we can come back and start working on the front again all right next up slag slag we're going to come out from this machine we're going to go left one tile back one tile and then click very important you click to that make sure it stays at ground level next thing we need to, need to do is bring this to height three and then bring it in one tile and then hook it into that belt uh and then we need to do the same at this end so we want to come around to the back so back one tile well right one tile back one tile click and then up to our belt stack and in one tile click and then attach it into that slag belt all right next thing we're going to do just to get it out of the way is going to be exhausts we're going to throw in a smokestack and a smokestack it's not worth trying to share the pipes or anything like that we just need to throw them down the next thing we're going to need is the actual glass maker itself okay this is going to be very important please follow directions it's, it'll come back to haunt you if you don't uh later we're going to take our first glass mix we're going to flip it sideways and plug it hard up against the machine 
It's very important. All right, next one, and we're going to flip the correct direction. Uh, we're going to line it up with the inside most molten shuttle, and then we're going to slide it forward as far as it can be with the slag on the outside. We need to have the slag on the outside so we can attach into the slag belts we put uh, earlier. We're going to put one and two of those end to end. Then we need to do the same with the other side. So we're going to copy one of those, press the, oh, the F button, not the R button. Yep, uh, and pop one there and one there. Again, lined up with the innermost uh, molten shuttle. Next up, we can get rid of the things we don't need, being, well, all the ones that are in the incorrect position. We're going to plug in molten shuttle number one, molten shuttle number two. Next thing is we're going to take our slag belt, we're going to bring it out one tile, and then bring it straight back and hook it in to that slag belt that we left at ground level on both sides. Last thing is, of course, storage. We're going to put in a small storage container and plug in a belt from one and a belt from the other. All right, that is, um, well, that's the front end done. Uh, the back end is a little bit more complicated because although we have a smelter that works, we don't have any glass to put in it. All right, so back into transports, we're going to need a U-shaped balancer. We're going to put that hard up against the, the belts, the belts themselves that are already at ground level. Next thing is we're going to need a mixer. We're going to throw in a mixer with a two-tile two tile gap yes uh from our balancer also the other thing i want to do is i want to flip that so the liquid input is on the well the inside of the smelter stack and we're going to put down two of these now we don't strictly need two of these all depends on which recipe you're using for the actual glass mix you have two well two recipes available uh one requires acid one doesn't require acid the one that requires acid is going to give you 48 glass mix. Each blast furnace is only going to use 24 glass mix. So technically you could have just one glass mixer to run both machines. The catch is if you're using the worst recipe that doesn't require acid, you're going to need, uh, well, basically one mixer per per blast furnace. So I'm going to intentionally put in two. It's a little bit of overkill, but that's perfectly fine. It just means one hopefully won't run. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to take the belt out of the mixer and plug it into the balancer and then take the other belt from the other mixer and plug it into the first mixer. All right, that's our, well, our mixer's output done. We haven't uh, fixed up their input yet. So again, we're going to come from the back of the mixer. We're going to come one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. On the six tile, we're going to put in a belt. Uh, that's going to be for one of the inputs doesn't really matter which one and then at height one we're going to put the next belt and then at height two we're going to put the belt after that we're going to plug these in to start with so it's just going to be belt one uh belt two belt three belt one uh belt two and belt three now the glass mix requires uh sand limestone and salt now all i can tell you is i guarantee you you should put salt on the second tier belt okay that's the only thing I can guarantee you. If you happen to be making glass near iron, iron also requires limestone. Obviously, put limestone on the third belt because you can end up using that later on to do, well, iron. Iron, which is already going to be on the third belt in the rail. If you're doing this near copper, which is actually what I'd recommend because copper also uses acid, put sand on the third belt because, well, it's also required for copper. So I'm going to plug in a little bit of a cross cross belts but i'm going to plug in uh my sand on the third one my limestone on the bottom one and my salt in the middle and that is well the mix is done apart from the acid hookup so we do need another mixer we do need another mixer and i recommend the way i generally build the mixes is i put them pretty much from the smelters down if i put them from the smelters down i can fit about eight in a row eight in a row is enough to make uh, 600 new glass per minute um that's ignoring using any recycled glass and honestly you're going to have a lot of recycled well so we're going to put these down and i do recommend you have them two at a time two at a time and we'll set in some recipes so we have less things showing on the uh machines themselves so we put them two at a time we also make sure we leave a one tile gap to bring in the water in the middle so we're going to plug in sulfur which should be very very simple uh and then we're going to bring in the water now the water is going to come up and then come over to the height of the belt and then it's going to drop down into the first machine after it's dropped in the first machine we're going to extend the pipe on just a tile uh so we get a connector on there and the main reason we've done this is if if I, well, in the future, throw down two more of these guys, we can plug in the acid like so, we can plug in the sulfur like so, and we can just continue chaining this on forever. And it's why I put all my acid at one end of the build and then 
just chain on as many furnaces as I need. Uh, but we don't need any of that for right now, so you can go away. All right, uh, next thing we need is the acid output. So the acid output, you need to grab at least the first one and run it on a tile. And then you want to bring this up to height two. The reason we want height two is at height two, we don't actually run a belt through the smelter mix, the smelter belts. So we're going to run that in that gap. And then we're going to bring this uh, after it gets to here down well after it gets to lined up with the mixer belts uh we're going to bring it down to height number one and then we're going to run it over the glass mix belt at height number one from there we can run it into our glass mixes and we're going to run it on a tile so we get that connector and it plugs into both machines this way they can share one connector and also just just tidies up the build a little bit all right before we go and build everything there's one last thing we need to do and that is actually plug in our balancer into the main glass glass belt so what i want to do is i want to remove this belt underneath and then i want to take my balancer uh, off any of the inputs and plug it in there instead that's the only change we need to do now i want to bring in broken glass which would be on this belt we'll plug that in there and i would priority input the broken glass and that's pretty much it that's our very first build so we are going to start at this end and we're going to uni build everything and we should have these machines kick in after the materials get here they're gonna hopefully use the acid but um the acid's gonna take a second to get there if the acid takes too long oh we should probably hook in you as well yeah uh done twice the amount of acid okay uh oh speaking of acid uh these guys make 24 acid these guys use 12 acids so one uh mixer will run two well one mixer making acid will run two mixers making uh glass mix which is way more than what's required for the actual blast furnaces themselves uh i didn't plug in the coal you should probably plug in the coal uh coal goes in on that belt all right uh with our mixers plugged in they're running both recipes that's fine they, they'll make up glass mix uh, gradually over time as for our blast furnaces themselves what i well what i recommend is you turn on both recipes the broken glass and also the glass mix as you have them both on the belt the recipe order really doesn't matter okay because what will actually happen is it'll run whatever's being fed in on the on on the belt in whatever order it's being fed in on the belt does that make sense i hope that makes sense um so at the moment it's prioritizing broken glass but it's now not going to run broken glass hopefully because it has glass mix on the belt instead no one more run of broken glass and then even though we're prioritized broken glass it doesn't have enough broken glass to run so it's going to run the glass mix instead now as i said uh one machine one mixer with the acid recipe is enough to run both blast furnaces but we're about to upgrade the blast furnaces to tier two which is going to change things slightly so if we go back into the tech tree uh we got access to glass mixing right here not that far in the distance in the tech tree we get access to the blast furnace mark 2 now the blast furnace mark 2 is going to use 48 glass mix rather than the previous one used 24 it's also going to output 48 molten glass unfortunately our glass makers still only use 24 so to do the next upgrade what we're going to do is literally going to upgrade in place we're just going to upgrade one of these to a blast furnace mark 2 the other one we're going to pause because well there's no need to have it running anymore because this guy is going to output so much uh molten glass that we just don't have a need now what we can do is well well actually you got two options you can upgrade both of them in place and just accept they're going to run at half speed or you can upgrade one of them no matter what i do recommend you do the upgrade because they're going to go from using nine coal uh to 15 for twice as much so you're going to end up saving coal in the long run and all we want to do to uh optimize the system system and have them both running is we're just going to run a molten channel from one side to the other so the 48 molten glass can get into both glass makers and run both glass makers uh, that is our stage one and our stage two we've gone from a blast furnace into a blast furnace mark two that was the easy stuff next thing uh next technology we're going to unlock is exhaust filtration technically we unlocked that prior to advanced smelting but honestly you don't make enough exhaust with the basic smelters to really warrant exhaust scrubbing it so i generally do advanced smelting to being the, the mark ii blast furnaces and then come back to exhaust scrubbing after the fact uh exhaust scrubbing exhaust scrubbing we've already been through uh with the previous videos it's pretty simple and as for the blast furnace itself well it's the exact same build uh all i need to do is run my belts in so we're going to bring in our uh sand limestone and of course 
uh, sand, limestone, and salt. That's the three. And we're also going to need a brand new connection for more acid. Cool. All right. Uh, so the only thing we want to do with this particular system is also plug in the coal. That's going to be important. Uh, can I get coal dragged into the next build uh, at height one in there, please? Cool. All right, so we ha now have two blast furnaces. Uh, again, I have one of them paused because, well, the other one is enough to run both both sets of glass mixers. Now, the only thing we need to do is to upgrade to exhaust filtration. We need to obviously stop dumping our exhaust in the atmosphere. We need to change that over to actually run the exhaust somewhere, and that is going to be an exhaust scrubber. Now, exhaust scrubber is going to take in the exhaust uh, plus also water, and it's actually going to output sulfur plus carbon dioxide plus low pressure steam. Low pressure steam, you should do something with. In my case, I'm running through a cooling tower to then loop it back, get back half the water, which we're going to run back into the exhaust scrubber. But the sulfur, um, Conveniently, you happen to use sulfur right here, providing you actually build the damn belts, uh, to make acid. So what I make sure I do is I plug my exhaust scrubber back into the sulfur input. And as for our exhaust, what we want to do is we want to grab a tier 2 pipe. It's going to be very, very important to use a tier 2 pipe as it moves uh, 200 items, or 200, has a throughput of 200, and the exhaust scrubber uses uh, 180. So we're going to run this at height number one, right across the front of the machine. We want to have that hard up against the front of the machine and then plug it into our exhaust scrubber. From there, we're going to grab a little skinny pipe because we're only outputting 30, uh, 30 exhaust if we're using recycled material or 36 exhaust if we're using brand new glass mix. And we're going to plug that into our our exhaust pipe. Now we want to come from the exhaust and we want to go away from the middle. It's going to be very, very important that we go that direction because if we don't, it's going to screw us when we um, continue upgrading things in the future. That means we can now dump our exhaust out into the exhaust pipe, which is going to run it into the exhaust scrubber, which needs a couple of runs of the smelter to actually have enough exhaust to process the exhaust to then output the exhaust, but that's all perfectly fine. Uh, when it outputs, we're going to dump the CO2 in the atmosphere. We are going to make the people slightly healthier because the exhaust scrubbing the exhaust is has well uh, a health bonus and the sulfur of course is going to pop out come back and loop back into the storage container that we're going to run back into our uh, acid machines it is a sulfur negative system but it does let you regain at least some of the salt uh sulfur and we're gonna have our two glass uh, glass makers at the front. They're going to run exactly the same. Nothing has changed there. All right, from there, our next technology upgrade we get our hands on is the glass maker Mark II. Uh, that's going to change things uh, slightly, slightly. So we need to build the exact same build as we have previously. We need to plug in our input belts, being uh, again the salt, the limestone, and the sand. Also, drag across our coal which would plug in there and with those up and running. Oh, and take out our exhaust scrubbing. Yes, yes. Okay. With, oh, acid. No, acid's already plugged in. Excellent. Okay, uh, with those done. So what we want to do when we come to this stage is we need to retrofit the system to add in the bigger and better Glassmaker Mark II. The Glassmaker Mark II adds a couple of things. One, it's going to start using 48 molten glass compared to the... the 24 we're using previously. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to vastly increase the efficiency of the system. Uh, previously, we were bringing in 48 glass mix, and our 48 glass mix was giving us, well, 48 glass. Uh, when we go over to the Glass Maker Mark II, we're going to. Can I just pause you? I don't want you running just a second. Uh, when we go over to the Glass Maker Mark II, we're going to bring in. No longer we're going to bring in just 48 glass mix. We're actually going to bring in twice that amount. So we're going to bring in the full 96. As for the glass maker mark two, because it's more efficient, we're now going to make 144 glass per pair of smelters up from the original 48. So you're going to find at this sort of stage, you're going to vastly change the amount of glass you're making. All right, to do this upgrade, first thing we need to do is we need to remove the old glass makers. On top of that, uh, our slag output belt, we can also remove because we no longer make slag. And our molten channels, we want to cut back so they have two tiles worth of length. Anything above and beyond that is useless. It can all go away. All right, with those two done, we can take our glass maker Mark II and it should drop straight in as a one-for-one -one replacement for, well, 
the blank gap that's been left. Uh, with those two built, we can then unpause you guys, and that is our upgrade in place, ready to go. You guys are going to keep crunching out molten glass, and we should have these guys up and running, producing, like I said, a lot more glass. We went from, like I said, 48 to up to 144 per minute for the same two blast firsts. It does now mean that both mixers making glass mix do need to run at full time, well, full time to keep all this system running, but vastly more glass per minute. All right, uh, from there, of course, we have more upgrades. If we go back to the tech tree, we get very, very late game. We get the Arc Furnace Mark II. Now, the Arc Furnace Mark II is going to change over the recipes quite a bit uh, because we're no longer going to be using coal we're now going to be using graphite on top of that uh these things run so hot they're actually water cooled so uh we're going to throw in the whole build as it is previously i also need to have that all built and uh we're going to run our belts across so first thing is coal uh which would come to there plus we want those three belts uh, can i paste paste and no i can't paste all right plug in the glass mix Thank you. Glass mix belts. Yep. Okay. Uh, and those little ones. Okay. So uh, these are going to be a, a substantial upgrade. We're going to upgrade just one of these. And this is the point I'm going to ask you guys. We've, we've done most of the video. We've, we've gone through, you know, our, our basic smelter that ran. It ran. It made glass. It, it brought in recycled glass to our slightly more advanced version with a blast furnace mark ii and therefore we could pause different things and share the system together and also brought in recycled glass to eventually the exhaust scrubbing version which again we, we don't need the second blast furnace but you know it, it's there and then finally we made that giant upgrade to produce a lot more glass per minute um which the trucks are having a hard time trying to empty and then um well it's going to come up to a, an arc furnace mark ii so now we've done all that i'm the like, the like that asks, can I borrow? Can I, can I keep it? Because we've done most of the video. You, you know what, sort of where we're head, heading. I'd very much uh, appreciate keeping that like. And if you didn't throw in the like earlier, maybe it's a great time to do so. At the same time, if you enjoy Captain Industry, I have a Let's Play currently running. Also, I have a bunch of tutorial videos already done, and there are definitely more coming. So with that out of the way, uh, we have our Arc Furnace Mark II. Now, Arc Furnace Mark II means we need to change up the recipes. We need to re-enable the glass mix recipe along with the broken glass recipe. And if we come around the back of the machine, well, assuming I plugged in coal, you'd notice, um, well, coal's no longer required by the system at all. So we need to change things up just slightly. So what I want to do is I want to remove uh, the belt that used to have coal on it. Uh, that's just going to go away in its entirety. What we need to do is we need to replace that belt with uh, graphite. Now, graphite comes out on a flat belt, so we're going to run that in, and we're going to keep that at height number two. It's just a one-for-one -one replacement. In saying that, because we have run three belts across the back with all our sand, our salt, and our limestone, you're probably going to have a little bit of spaghetti, spaghetti at this point. Or what I found I did in my Let's Play is I end up uh, building all my spelters, for, in this example, from right to left. And then when I upgraded them, I started at the left-hand side and I replaced them backwards when I was upgrading to the Arc Furnace Mark II with graphite. All right, uh, as for our graphite belt, it actually comes in underneath that little slag uh, zigzag that we put in earlier. So we're gonna preemptively upgrade the other smelter at the same time by putting in that belt directly underneath. It obviously doesn't plug in anything now, but it will in the future. Uh, so that's our step number one. Obviously our glass mix and our broken glass remains unchanged. As for the front, we now also have to deal with both getting water in at at the rear and uh low pressure steam out at the front so uh steam we're gonna grab a pipe we're gonna bring it up to height two again i recommend you at least use a tier two pipe especially as you know arc furnace mark two requires construction pass four so you shouldn't be short on materials at this stage uh we want to put this pipe directly above the exhaust filtration pipe and we're going to bring it out uh and well you need to do something with steam normally um desalinators desalinators are highly recommended in my case i'm just going to run it through a cooling tower and just get back the water and put it back in the system uh next thing you want to do is you're going to need to grab a pipe so you're going to need to grab a pipe uh and bring it out from the steam and because the steam pipe is at height two we want to go right well, towards the middle 
two tiles and then I want to come up two tiles before I plug that in which also means on the other side I want to do the same uh, we're going to bring that out so we can go over two tiles towards the middle up to height two and plug that in there with that done that should be our steam pipe built now as for our water input same story we need a pipe uh preferably a mark two pipe and we're going to bring that in at height two across the rear and we're going to put that hard up against the machine as well as for our liquid input pipes we're going to grab that from the actual uh input for the machine and we're going to come up two tiles and then plug it in uh to the water pipe so again on the other side i would do the exact same uh oh thank you cool uh with that done that is our upgrade in place so we need to plug in the graphite we need to grab our actual water which we're going to bring off this balancer please thank you and with that done you should start getting graphite in in a minute plus you should get water in from the rear and then of course we'll pump steam out the front also means at the same time i can upgrade that uh blast furnace into an arc furnace as well and in theory i've plugged everything in the correct direction and it all works perfectly fine so we have this guy up and running he has his glass mix plus he has his water and his graphite and on the front well, we can see the steam heading out right now, which is going to come into here and then eventually stack up high enough that, well, there we go. There we go. On cue. And you're prioritized back in and then you've been upgraded. We just need to re-enable the recipes being broken glass and also glass mix. Like I said before, it doesn't matter what we're, uh, what the order of the recipes are inside the actual arc furnace or blast furnace because... It just runs in the order they're fed in on the belts. Uh, but with that done, that is also upgraded and up and running. And we have successfully upgraded from, well, Blast Furnace Mark 1 uh, with poor man's tech all the way through to uh, your Blast Furnace Mark 2. And then again, the exhaust filtration, finally upgrading uh, that to our Glass Maker Mark 2 to vastly increase our amount of glass out. Finally, into the Arc Furnace Mark 2, uh, which is now going to use a whole bunch of teraflops, also a bunch of power but no coal no coal that's very important uh which makes a giant saving in late game but with all that said that is it for today's video we have successfully upgraded our glass from stage one to what stage five and the only thing left to talk about is a future video where i cover quartz which should be fairly easy because it's just an arc furnace mark one to an arc furnace mark two but we're gonna do it just so we have the complete set it's very good to have a full house but with all that said i need to end this video here as always thank you guys so much for watching do hope you found it helpful and enjoyable and i'll see you guys in the very next video thanks for watching bye